All right, here we go, chat. So personally, I don't know about you, chat. I, this year, has been a crazy year. This year has been a crazy year for games, bro. It's been a crazy year. I think 2023 is going to go down as one of the best years for gaming. And you could say, oh, no, it's not. Gaming is dead. Well, you know, listen, buddy. If you say gaming is dead, you probably play the same game every day, okay? Because we ate this year. I personally ate this year, bro. I got so many good games that came out this year, personally. And it's kind of crazy because there's so many good games that came out this year that it's going to be tough to call game of the year this year. I think it's going to be tough. It's definitely between a couple, like, a couple games. But these games are good. There's so many good games that came out this year. So, um... Mid of the year nominees. Uh, let's let's watch this one. This one seems like the most recent. Uh, which game will win game of the year 2023? I'm I don't know, dude. I personally think it's between three. Now, obviously, more are gonna be nominated, like Final Fantasy 16, maybe Hogwarts Legacy, um, Resident Evil 4 remake. Uh, I can like keep going on and on and on, but I think that it's gonna come down to three. Zelda Tears so of the, the Kingdom, Baldur's Gate and spider-man 2 i think it's gonna really come down to those three i don't really think uh any other game really competes on that tier but let's uh let's watch this let's watch this video so the 2023 game awards is still a few good months away december 7th to be exact but we already have a lot of games that are game of the year worthy if you know what i mean some of them are already out some of them will be released soon but today mm, made the list of two. five games that i think could easily grab Five games. Okay, I can. I already named off five. I truly think I already named off five. Noah, Noah, what what five games? I I think Spider-Man Two, Zelda, and Baldur's Gate, and then the other two I would say maybe Resident Evil and Final Fantasy Fifteen. Those are the games I'm thinking. Grab the game of the year title. Now, if anybody is wondering, I put this list together after doing a ton of research on Discord. Asking here's my list. Right, give me a top five. Reading forums. Nah, it doesn't have to be in order, too, guys. It doesn't have to be in order either. Just give me like what games do you think are going to be like contending? In reviews, watching YouTube videos, streams, and yidi yidi yada yada. But basically, I did a lot of research and I put this list together based on what game people think will right, win buddy. game I'm about to time of you the out. year 2023. And spoiler alert, I think everybody who's watching this video right now has a hunch of which games could grab the game of the year There's title. so many though. There's so <laughs> many games that came out this year. Treat yourself to 19 inches of venom. What do you mean by that? Hey, yo. So number five on our list here, to many people's surprise, is no. Resident Evil 4. I was about to say, I was about to say, he was about to put fucking Star Wars. I mean, yeah, Star Wars, you know, is it was a good game that came out this year, but it's not on Game of the Year con contention. Or a remake. Now before you Notice how Resident Evil 4 is number five, by the way. No, it's not number one. I guarantee you Spider-Man 2 is going to be number one. Okay, buddy? All right. Jump at me. Hear me out. Resident Evil 4 Remake was one of the most anticipated titles this year, and when it finally came out, it did not disappoint at all, both visually and in every single other aspect. It I was so good that it felt this like you were playing a brand new fun. game and not a remake. Because at the end of the day, guys, what we're really looking at here is the best horror game of 2023. I doubt mm. any other title will top the it. Best horror we're looking game at the best remake of 2023, that, and we're looking at Capcom's third biggest hit this year on Steam just behind Monster Hunter World and Rise. We're looking at a game that sold over 5 million copies, not to mention the almost perfect ratings the Resident Evil 4 Remake has. 10 out of 10 on IGN, 92% yep. on Open Critic, yep, 5 right. out of 5 on Trusted Reviews. Like I said, I, like, I, like I said, I think Resident Evil 4 is going to be a contender, but they're not going to give a remake game of the year, first off. Second off, I don't even think it deserves it. I think, I think the three games I listed before are are in higher contention of Game of the Year than Resident Evil 4. From jump scares, story, action, and the scary atmosphere overall was pitch perfect in this game. And let's be honest, who doesn't crush on Leon Kennedy and Ada? God damn. Also, I have to add that Resident Evil 4- It doesn't deserve it, Noah! Resident Evil 4 does not deserve to be Game of the Year. I'm not saying that it's a bad game, because I understand it is a good game. But it is not a game of the year. Remake has an upcoming DLC in the making it's called Separate Ways. And on top of that, a VR mode oh, too, shit, which terrifying. got people super Ooh, excited. Dude, VR mode would be sick. I might get VR mode. I might get VR mode. Excited. Number four on our list is Star Wars Jedi. Okay. Is he only listing PS5 games? Because this game is not in contention. This game is not in contention at all. I think it, I think it might get best like action game or, or best, best adventure game or something like that. Best sci-fi game, maybe, whatever it is. You didn't play it, it was way too good for you. It's not game of the year, though. 
It's 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 a remake. You can't make a remake game of the year. You know, many people would get upset for that. But this game is not game of the year worthy. I I I'm a diehard Star Wars fan. I played this game on the channel. It is not game of the year worthy. A survivor. Now I know this game did not have the smoothest launch, but once the patches came out and everything got up and running, Jedi Survivor provided and still provides one of, if not the best Star Wars experiences in gaming to this date. Firstly, if it doesn't grab Game of the Year, it will definitely grab an award for one of the most stunning visuals. In yeah, it'll get. get I, th I think it'll get. I think it'll get definitely some sort of award, but I don't know if it's gonna get Game of the Year. Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil is the best series ever. I'm about to time you out, buddy. Game. Jedi Survivor looks absolutely insane. And every good thing from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is in Jedi Survivor, but 10 times better. The combat is super satisfying, the open world is bigger, more places to explore, and one of the biggest highlights is the Souls-like take on Jedi Survivor, and that is the I do bosses. like Souls games. You're gonna be put through some iconic Star Wars monsters and some intense Jedi duels. And one thing's for sure, Jedi Survivor is not mm. only a treat for the Star Wars fans, it's a treat for everybody who likes open world exploration. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, but I mean, obviously you're gonna be... A non-Star Wars fan isn't gonna play this game though, let's be real. Games ...that come with a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so now we're in the top three games that... Okay, I, I do agree with Resident Evil, I don't agree with Jedi Survivor could potentially win Game of the Year 2023. The third game, weirdly enough, is Baldur's Gate 3. Yep, See what yep, I did? yep, yep, yep. I don't think Baldur's Gate would win, but I wouldn't be shocked if it did, though. There, Baldur's Gate 3 is the third game on the list. No? Okay, let's continue. So Baldur's Gate 3 basically takes the CRPG genre and thrusts it into the next gen of gaming. Usually many games like this start slow, not Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 starts guns blazing. I'm not here to tell you guys a review about the game. I'm here to tell you that Baldur's Gate 3 is the third one on this list for me because of the user ratings, mostly the players. It's the players that absolutely love this game. And since yeah, I, uh, I, I personally have not played Baldur's Baldur's Gate. I've never played any of the Baldur's Gate games. I didn't even know this was a series until Baldur's Gate 3 came out. But I've heard so many good things about this game that it like has to be at least a contender. Like it was a good game. It didn't have any problems at launch. There's no DLC. They just delivered a good sixty to seventy dollar video game that has plenty of content, plenty of stuff to do, no major faults, and it's just a good video game as a whole. It's a good package. And uh, from what I understand, uh, this game is really good too. So, and and it gets, oh, it's very highly rated. So, it could be game of the year. I don't know came out, people have been playing it and grinding it like crazy. Baldur's Gate 3 is currently sitting at a 97 out of 100 for critics, which is one point ahead of another game that we will be talking about soon. Zelda. And that's the main reason why people think it could possibly get Game of the Year. Now, don't get me wrong, the chances of Baldur's Gate 3 actually winning Game of the Year are very slim. To put it into perspective, if Baldur's Gate 3 actually won Game of the Year 2023, it would be the equivalent of an independent foreign film beating Oppenheimer at the Oscars. Because Baldur's Gate 3 was developed by Larian Studios, which uh, as a company, as a studio itself, isn't super known and popular, which matters a lot when it comes to awards. So no That is true, that is true. Like, if you're not like a big AAA studio, you ain't getting Game of the Year, buddy. Although, uh, It Takes Two did get Game of the Year a couple years ago. I mean, I don't. I know that studio wasn't like indie, indie, but it was definitely like not. It wasn't like Elden Ring or God of War, Ragnarok or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Now we're in the top two games, and this is where things get spicy and controversial for a lot of people. Spider-Man Two, Spider-Man Two, and Zelda. Guarantee it. Because we all know that yep. 2023 is probably the best year to be a yep. gamer, and the competition for Game of the Year is. But wait, when did this video come out? Mm, one month ago. Okay, one month ago. So he hasn't even played Spider-Man 2 yet, bro. He can't even he can't even rank it. I don't know if he's gonna rank it. So big. With that being said, I think we all know which games are gonna be in the top two here. And the hardest part of making this video for me was deciding which one should go second and which one should go first. Mmm, Spider-Man 2, bro. Game of the year. Game of the year. I'm calling it. No Resident Evil. Get Resident Evil 4 out of here. Get that shit recycled, that recycled trash out of here. It's just a cash grab. No, 
Spider- Spider-Man 2 is here. The GOAT has returned. Statistically speaking, the second closest game to winning Game of the Year 2023 is Spider-Man 2. And the yep, first yep, game sense. that, according to the people, is most likely going to win this year's it's Zelda. Game of I get the Year it. it's is Zelda. Zelda Tears of Kingdom. And for it. good reason too. Uh, Zelda Tears of Kingdom basically reinvented the wheel for the Zelda franchise, mainly because of the addition of the Ultra Hand, which basically turns Link into a builder. Not to mention the boss fights, which are a big highlight in Tears of Kingdom and are among I still the best. I this game. I need to beat this game, but damn, bro, it's such a long game. The series. Basically, Zelda Tears of Kingdom has raised the bar for action adventure games in a very short amount of time, and because this game along with Breath of the Wild have such a massive community of people who are die-hard fans of the Zelda games. Tears of Kingdom has the biggest chances of winning. Yeah, it does. It week. does. But Unfortunately, I'm gonna be does. fully honest. Biased are here. Spider-Man 2 is all hype. And if you want to talk recycling, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Spider-Man 2, all the same shit. Just hype. Okay, buddy. You clearly haven't been watching the streams then, buddy, because we played two and a half hours of uh, Spider-Man 2 earlier and... Uh, yeah, it's basically the same. It's basically the same, uh, same what, I would, what I've been saying, you know? It's game of the year. Like, I don't know what you're going to say. I'm going to keep telling you the same thing. It's game of the year. And when it does win game of the year, and when Resident Evil 4 doesn't get game of the year, I'm going to be like, you know, I told you. We don't want rec recycled trash, okay? We want peak. And Spider-Man 2 is spider peak too honest as a big marvel fan and a big spider-man fan and a sucker for good playstation exclusives i think that zelda tears of kingdom has nothing on spider-man 2 i mean no disrespect mm. towards the zelda fans but for me spider-man 2 did you hear what he just said zelda has nothing on spider-man Makes seen Tears the whole of game? Kingdom and other spoiler, games please? on this list look like light work. Everything from story, which keeps you so engaged, gameplay and combat, which feels incredibly well polished, to the stunning visuals and environments and the open world, everything about Spider-Man 2 is spot on. And I mm. am well aware that this game is not out yet. But come on, guys, when did Insomnia games ever fail? $20 Spider-Man doesn't win game of the year? All right, buddy, listen, Noah, when uh, Resident Evil 4 isn't even going to be in contention, just know that uh, Spider-Man 2 is going to be up there and it's uh, going to win game of the year. To live up to the hype of a new game. And just by looking at the gameplay trailers and story trailers, I feel like a kid on Christmas waiting for this game to drop just so I can go back to swinging through the city of New York, man. I cannot wait. And don't get me wrong, I am not bashing on Tears of Kingdom at all. I think Zelda Tears of Kingdom mm, is look revolutionary at that. Look at that for combo. the Zelda games combat, and action adventure man. titles. But I'm a strong believer that Spider-Man 2 can win game oh my god, year, look at that. But yeah, I think Spider-Man has a really, really... No, like, don't get me wrong, no, I do kind of agree with you. I think the hype is kind of playing into Spider-Man 2. But you also gotta understand, like, there's a reason there's hype for this game, though, you know? And, like, yeah, like, you know, everybody was hyped up for the Resident Evil 4 remake. But let's be honest, like, if you ask people at the beginning of the year, what they, like, the majority of people, the average person, what they would, what they're more excited about in 2023, Resident Evil 4 remake or Spider-Man 2. I can guarantee you more people are, are excited about Spider-Man 2. And people that don't even have PlayStations, like fucking people that play, that have Xbox, probably want to watch like people with PlayStations play it. They want to see like what happens in the story. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how, that's how insane Spider-Man 2 is. Like Spider-Man 2 is a console seller. Resident Evil 4 Remake ain't a console seller. But wait, don't leave yet. Before I end the video, I want to talk about some worthy games that are worth mentioning. And then yes, Hogwarts. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna mention Hogwarts Legacy. I one see game see you what? guys are probably gonna yell at me for in the comments for not putting in this top five list is Final Fantasy 16. I know mm, yeah, there's Final a Fantasy bunch 16, of yep, diehard yep. fans. Yeah, this is not gonna be game of the year though. There's no way. Fantasy fans out here. It's but a pretty game. It's cool. But... That as a contender for the Game of the Year 2023 awards, Final Fantasy 16 is sitting at the 22nd place, and the games Damn, really? listed in this video and some others are way higher. I didn't know it was that, that low. Another worthy mention could be Starfield. That's now, now. I mean, yeah, obviously it could. You can say maybe, but it's not competing with the likes of Spider-Man Two, Re not even Resident Evil Four, bro. Like, I'm sorry, Starfield is like 
It's just another Bethesda game. That's all it is. It's just Fallout or Skyrim in space. That's all it is. Those newest 3Ds, which at the start let a lot of people down, but uh, there is an audience that absolutely loves the game. Another title that could be a contender is Remnant 2, the Souls-like game with guns. We also can put Hogwarts Legacy in this list as well. The game had so much hype, and personally, I finished yeah, it Hogwarts and it Legacy. was a blast. There yep, is yep. other unreleased titles like Alan Wake 2 that yep, could yep. potentially challenge Silent Resident Hill 2. for Remake for the Horror Game Award, and there's a bunch of other games. Games. As I said, the competition is massive. Mortal but Kombat 1, you know? With that being said, I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What is your list of games? That Let's see if Spider-Man 2 is down here, chat. This is a good video, by the way. This, guy, this, this video definitely deserves more uh, more views. I strongly think Baldur's Gate 3 has a lot of changes to win. It has the best ratings out of all these games. But is it based off of... Is it only based off of rating? I guess, um, Liza P is the most creative and incredible game of the year. I've heard Liza P is really good as well. Tears of the Kingdom made me feel a variety of different emotions playing the game. Lots of times it made me feel thrilled and excited, and it made me cry on specific points of the game. It is indeed a masterpiece. If Baldur's Gate 3 can offer that kind of experience, I would take interest in it and consider to play it. I want Zelda to win, but Baldur's Gate 3 has good reception. People like it. At this point, I think it's the favorite. Unfortunately, I don't think Spider-Man 2 won't win. Not because it's not a great game or it doesn't deserve it too. It's just, it, it's just that Insomniac always ends up releasing in a full year of heavy hitters and unfortunately they end up being overlooked and underappreciated even though they may not have all the awards the ratings and the sales of their game show that they belong in that discussion see the thing is though i would argue that spider-man 2 is probably the most hyped game of the year obviously that doesn't mean it's the best game of the year or that that means it deserves game of the year so the two th but i would say spider-man 2 probably has more hype than any other, other video game that came out this year i can argue that probably you could probably argue that I think Tears of the Kingdom will win. I can't wait for the the uh, orchestra. I love Baldur's Gate, but I really want FromSoft to win two years in a row. Zelda takes it for sure, I believe. Um, if DLCs count for Game of the Year, Phantom Liberty would probably be the best contender. Best DLC would be pretty good. And it's mid. Spider-Man 2 is all hype. It's overhyped. You can't even say that. Like, you haven't even played the game. The gameplay is so good. What I think the best part about Spider-Man 2 so far is, yeah, like, the story is good so far. But the gameplay, bro, the gameplay, like, I feel like that, I feel like gameplay is the most uh, crucial part to a game, obviously, the gameplay. One game that had really good gameplay, uh, Elden Ring. Spider-Man's gameplay, like, uh, like when you were playing Spider-Man 1, right, on PS4, you felt like Spider-Man. But somehow, they made it even better. They made you really feel like Spider-Man in Spider-Man 2. The flying, the movements, the mechanics, the swinging, the combat, it's just all improved and it really makes you feel like Spider-Man.